Hi, I'm porn star Bailey Bass, and I'm here to talk to you about distracted driving. You may have seen me fucking a guy in the seat of a magical Tesla. Oh. In my recent video, Bailey Bass fucks a Tesla. That's not the name, Bailey. But you should realize Teslas are made by wizards. No, they're not. Not all cars drive themselves. That one's true. Try fucking in any other car and they'll be scraping your dick off the side of the LA freeway. My manager says I need to have a car, so I'll be taken seriously at AVN time. Never said that. If you're fucking in a Tesla, just pull over. To prove how serious I am about distracted driving and AVN awards, if you buy a Tesla and pull over on the side of the road, I will come fuck you anywhere in the world. Bailey. You heard me. Anywhere. Um, okay, well, from all of us here at Comedians Talk to Porn Stars, just pull over. And I'll fuck you. Hello, Tesla. It's Comedians Talk to Porn Stars. Woo! Yes. Today we are here with the adorable Bailey Bass. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yes, welcome to Comedians Talk to Porn Stars. We're so happy to have you. I'm so happy to be here with you. Well, Aww. be talking, not, you know, over virtually. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Bo Blaze, and say hello to my co host, Chris Park. Hey, everybody. Hey, What's going Chris? On? She didn't clap for you, so that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> no, it's too late now. No, too late. No, too late. she did it. She did it. I take it back. <laughs> okay, thank you. I love it because we used to do it where I would just play crickets. Cricket. cricket. You know why he loves it so much, Bailey? Why? Because he's a jerk. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I'm a jerk. That's why. Yeah, yeah. First thing we have to do is thank Bailey for doing our little PSA parody you just saw. Awesome. Amazing. Incredible. You definitely, uh, you're going to be up for an AVN for that commercial. I think. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> This uh, little PSA parody is inspired by Bailey's now viral Tesla fucking videos. <laughs> Bailey, have you heard from Elon Musk yet? No, no. I have been like, I don't know. He's been tweeting a lot lately, but I don't yeah, know. not yet. He's a little sketchy, you know? I mean, did you see him smoking pot on Rogan that one time? No. <laughs> no. Well, really wouldn't surprise me at all if he called you up and asked to fuck. I, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, I mean, he has definitely watched that video. <laughs> <laughs> Musk and Bass, the new video. Oh, God. <laughs> Musk be Bass. I mean, he's done everything else. Why the fuck not? He could do anything. So, like, Maybe uh, I could get a free Tesla out of it. <laughs> yeah. I'd hold out for that. That's the story. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, that would be your biggest payday ever. I mean, I know, yeah. so there's one day video and there's one night video. And the day video is more, I don't know, G rated. Is that just, <laughs> okay? G rated. Yeah, right, sure. Well, I just mean that it's like you mostly see the penis in the vagina. Yeah. It's, I mean, you don't see it. It's in there. So PIV for those of you, Chris, who don't know that. Yeah. It's already in. So it's yeah. just like you on his lap. A lot of it. Yeah. Right. I, I mean, so I'm saying we could take big pieces of that video and show it on TV. Yeah. 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 So that's why I call it the G-rated one. Yeah. It ends with them going to Disney World. <laughs> Hi ho, hi ho! <laughs> it's off to fuck we go. go. Okay. okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> my favorite part of the day one is the guy in the red minivan. <laughs> you don't see that? There's a guy waving at you in a red minivan. Waving? Yeah. yeah. Like no like way. Luke. <laughs> you never saw that? Oh man. No, but I have like sometimes I've looked at people, but like I like will like duck low because I don't want anybody to see me. But like he also has really dark tints. But in the sunlight you might be able to like Wait, he has dark tits? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, his tits are <laughs> so dark. <laughs> yeah, bro, dark tits, duh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go back and watch the daytime one. He laughs. He looks at them and kind of smiles and looks and then looks back. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're totally Wait, making eye contact. Is it on Pornhub? I'm sure everything's on Pornhub. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know, I've watched a lot of porn. So did you watch a lot of porn when you were younger? Yeah, when I, yeah, when I was, yeah. 
I don't yeah. know. Are we going to be able to put this in? Uh, no. So, <laughs> so yeah. So growing up, though, you watched a lot of porn. Growing up, yes. Like started exploring it at a young age. Yes. Tell us more. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway. Uh, okay. I'm going to be good, Bailey. I told you. That dude is going to be good. <laughs> You're going to be calling me Uncle Dadu by the end of this. Oh, Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Uncle Dadu, let's do it. Oh, that's it. Chris, I have to go. <laughs> I also have to tell you that if there was ever an example of douchebag trolls, it's your video because it has a hundred thumbs down. Okay? <laughs> I mean, it has like 700 thumbs up. Tesla video? Yeah, yeah. But oh wait. I mean, I want to say something to the vermin that gave that video a thumbs down. What the fuck? <laughs> She's risking her life for you, scum, in a self-driving car, <laughs> fucking for your enjoyment for free! <laughs> Come on! What more do you entitled millennial douchebag troglodytes want? Hey, hey, I'm a millennial. Come on. <laughs> it's not all of us. I didn't give it a thumb. Yeah, but you're not <laughs> checking out her free fucking danger porn and giving it a thumbs down because, I don't know, you expect her to come fuck you for real? Well, I mean, that would be nice. Yeah, well, buy a Tesla. <laughs> and then she'll fuck you. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> fucking millennials can you believe this shit bailey i mean you're a z and i'm a baby boomer these fucking millennials uh, fuck <laughs> them. fucking millennials i i know man i don't know oh bo both of you fuck off <laughs> <laughs> people actually like would comment things on Twitter about it, like you're not being safe. safe yeah, yeah. Well, that's the <laughs> definition of trolls. That somebody would fuck in a Tesla for you, make porn for free for you, and you give it a thumbs down. Like what the fuck? I remember when we were researching and I saw that video. I was like, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, you're a good millennial. But anyway, <laughs> whatever, boomer. <laughs> as far as the first Tesla video, I do have one small ongoing peeve. What is it? Okay. Take your socks off. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm cold. <laughs> I know you're cold. But okay, I know. But look, porn in general is made for one reason men's dicks okay and i might as well go all the way and let us see your feet okay there's a reason it's like the biggest fetish on earth i know and i i have a foot fetish too like i i usually like i let i usually don't keep my socks on but in the car like i had shoes on i just put hopped you know it was a quick little like let's fuck you know <laughs> wait how hilarious is it that i have her apologizing for wearing socks <laughs> <laughs> I'm not apologizing. <laughs> I'm sorry, great dad do. Yeah, Bailey. I mean, you know, you got to remember there are old weirdos out there like Bo who get off her feet. <laughs> Foot fetish is like one of the most common fetishes, yeah. believe it or not. Yeah. I don't get it, but everybody else likes it. You're a fucking millennial, Chris. No, it's That's not the millennial. It's nothing to do with that. Feet. I don't know. It's just not my thing. But what if you like saw a really cute pair of feet and like they just it just was really pretty and cute, you would still be like, no, I don't like you. Well, no, I mean, I'm not going to... If Bailey Bass took her shoes and socks off and put some oil on her feet and said, Chris... I want to give you a foot job. I'm not going to... Uh, look, okay, look. <laughs> I'm not going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that sporting of you, Chris? But no, but I'm just saying, it's like... Whatever, I don't want to get into, like, why... I'm not hating on people who like feet. <laughs> Wait a, just, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold not on. My, it's not like, hold you know. Hold on, I think, Chris, did something tragic or traumatic happen to you with feet in your life? Um... No. I just told you that Bailey Bass was going to fuck you with anything. Anything. Feet, armpits. It doesn't matter. Whatever she wants to do. Yeah, of course. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. Feet are great. Anyway. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm not saying they're not. I'm just saying it's not my go-to thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't need to be. I'm not saying. Yeah. yeah. Why is this, why is this all about me all of a sudden? It's everything's about you, Chris. I like that, though. <laughs> I was going to say, it's my world, and we're just living in it. But I, I am certain that it says that. <laughs> of course it's fucking your That's world. That's awesome. You're our guest. Yeah. It's all about you. <laughs> 
it's all about me. <laughs> but like, I'm totally not like that. <laughs> like, I am. I am. Yeah, I'm the biggest narcissist you've ever met. But yeah, anyway. and I just hang around him so much. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll just do that too. Yeah, he's learning. He's a, he's a baby narcissist. <laughs> yeah, they say. yeah. He's, he's, <laughs> yeah he's, he's learning. But I'm a narcissist with too much empathy, so it doesn't make any sense. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a narcissist, but I take a lot of pictures of myself and like. I <laughs> You can have narcissistic tendencies, but not be a narcissist. That's what I am. Yeah. Explain, like, narcissism. There's a lot of different things that make up a narcissist. <laughs> yeah. They usually lack empathy, and they don't understand why I'm not the only thing that you care about. Should oh, oh, I'm not that. If you're in a foxhole in a war, you want the narcissist because the narcissist is going to say, everybody get behind me. Let's get out of here. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. Yeah, the yeah. narcissist just has a very high, <laughs> like I do, very <laughs> high opinion. About I have themselves. a very high opinion of myself. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. I, I'm pretty great. That's how I feel. Anyway, we never got to the second video. You're just so dirty in it. It's like <laughs> you have that dirty stone girl vibe that makes the perfect fucking porn star yeah yeah <laughs> i think that's why i'm in love with you a little bit Bailey. <laughs> oh, there we go <laughs> see bailey we see a lot of porn stars okay yeah. uh, we interview a lot of them and honestly both chris and i prefer the spinners okay we <laughs> so it's no shock that we would both find you adorable okay tiny <laughs> Tiny girl, five feet, 100 pounds, 34B. Yeah. yeah. But I'm a little worried it might be a little more than that for Chris. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Chris, can you pinpoint what it is about her that you has you so smitten? Oh, Bo, I mean, just look at her. I mean, come on. How can you not be? Just, yeah. just, just that. The way she twirls her pigtails, it's oh. just, just over and over again. I know. It's just, it's, it's adorable. It's, it's, She's so happy, so vibrant. Just, just. Good You're making God. me blush. Good. Yeah, that's what we like. I like to do that. We're reaction junkies. We want you to react for us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Chris, Bailey has done some stepfather porn. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Do you like older men, Bailey? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're fucked now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Because then, you know, Chris, you could play like the young stepdad guy who is like 10 or 15 years older than Bailey. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that would be cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Of course, if that's too young, you could go with the really cool young rocker grandpa type. And in that case, I'm your man. No, 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 no. Don't listen to him, Bailey. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, he gets he gets plenty. Trust me. <laughs> Can I just have this bow? God. <laughs> when is enough enough for you? <laughs> so never. never. No, it's never enough. I have a hole in my soul for women. <laughs> I, I need constant validation. So I wanted to show you something. Good. Show me whatever you want. This necklace Ooh. that, like, I kind of dress how, like, I'm feeling for the day, kind of. Okay. And uh, <laughs> when, like, I'm feeling, like, sad, I don't know, I put it on and it makes me feel better. And I just thought that you would like it because, like, you I do. Yeah. It has like upside down crosses on it. I love, yeah. I love it. <laughs> you tend to dress how you feel. So you're feeling like a little girl today. <laughs> yeah, I feel like cutesy. Like, oh, God. You know, I thought like bright colors. You're perfect. <laughs> you, just, you should just always be like that okay you guys are awesome like it's so genuine and so like i love it thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know with all these tesla stories chris don't you have a car fucking story but it ended kind of badly yeah yeah one day um i was hiring a professional for some work I had for uh -huh. her, uh, her mouth. And <laughs> Wait, she... some professional mouth work. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. All right. And she was in the car preparing to do the work. Uh huh. And just as she was opening her mouth, bam! I get T-boned by a car, which spins me around like seven times, and I immediately shit my pants <laughs> when I get hit. <laughs> when I got hit. Like, cause I don't know if you ever been fucking hit, like a T-bone, and your car spins around. You for real shit? You like? <laughs> you I mean, a little bit, yeah. 
<laughs> because it was scary. I don't know. <laughs> Needless to say, the independent contractor who had already been paid for her work, which, by the way, she never rendered, she just split after <laughs> after the car stopped. The guy who hit me took off. I had to wait for three hours for AAA in my broken car with a full load in my pants. And the guy made me ride in the front seat the whole way in the tow truck, constantly asking me if I smell something. <laughs> The moral of the story, Bailey, and everybody out there listening, never pay up front. <laughs> Do not ever pay up front, folks. <laughs> I don't blame no, her, Chris. No. I mean, Bailey, Bailey, if you were on set and somebody shit their pants, would you run away? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would, like, step away. <laughs> I don't know. Usually everybody's clean, so like I don't really worry about like somebody shitting. Like I, I don't know, but people like it happens. <laughs> it happens. And also, it happens when you get t-boned and get spun around in your car. Do you think you're gonna die? <laughs> like, just saying. Maybe you did die for a short period of time. Okay. because that's what happened. Okay, I, I get it. Cause uh, when I was younger, I threw up in my dad's car and I shit myself while I. <laughs> <laughs> was throwing up in his car so you know shit happens ladies and gentlemen you have heard it here first <laughs> we have a porn star admitting to puking and shitting her pants which believe me she is a brave young lady because <laughs> every single porn star has thrown up and shit their pants at some point yeah I mean, really, like, every single person probably has, <laughs> you know, come on. There's, you know. like, fetishes for, like, throwing like, like throwing up. Like, I've done scenes where, like, I was, like, puking all over, like, the stick before. <laughs> like, Well, ooh. people love the gag fetish and, and you yeah. throwing up from being fucked in your mouth. Yeah, and, like, because I'll throw up stomach acid. So, because I don't, I don't eat really before. Tell the director next time you bring a thing of milk with you, okay? <laughs> and you just right before the scene, you drink like a shit ton of milk, and then, and then all this white milk comes out. I saw someone do that once at a show. It was pretty hot, actually. That'd be kind of cool. It was gross too, though, because they were giving her the milk in the other way too. So <laughs> there was milk coming out everywhere. Oh my. Oh wow. What about like breast milk? Like I see like a lot of like fetishes with like girls like in their breast milk. Uh, you would need to pump a lot of breast milk though to do that scene I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But my God, that would that would have a lot of fetishes. Oh my God! If it was breast milk you were throwing up, then people just their mind would explode. <laughs> yeah. We are having so much fun, but the fun is just starting because it is time for the famous comedy question. <laughs> Who is your favorite comedian or comedians? Um, Kevin Hart. <laughs> That is a very common answer from porn stars. Chris starts with a D. Chris D'Elia? Chris D'Elia, yeah. This girl is so hot, her favorite comedian is a pedophile. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really, think that's been proven. Well, you're right. It hasn't been proven, but an alleged pedophile. She's like, ah, that's my guy. Right there. <laughs> well, I think we can all go home now, folks. <laughs> it's over already. <laughs> no, I like Chris D'Elia. What yeah, about you, Chris? I like him a lot. You know, I don't know what happened with that whole thing, and I don't care. But yeah, I know. I don't even remember really the details. <laughs> to me, it's really none of our business because I care about his funniness, not what he does in his bedroom. But he's a very funny funny guy i like yeah. him a lot um all right what are some of your favorite comedy movies or tv programs Step Brothers. cool can never go wrong with will ferrell this one isn't really like a comedy movie but the wolf of wall street oh yeah that counts it's funny as fuck what uh, about from what no, go, go, go. What were you going to say? No, don't worry what I'm going to say. You just <laughs> say what you're going to say. I will um, say it. The mall cop. Paul Blart mall cop. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. That was so funny. Kevin James. King of Queens. And um, what's the matter? You thinking of a different one? No, I'm just thinking. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I smelled something burning. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, not nice. Not nice. But I feel like a kid with her like that. Oh, totally. totally. She loves us. We love her. It's wonderful. <laughs> what a wonderful relationship we're building. Yes. <laughs> I'm Uncle Dadu. It's all good. Don't worry. 
Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> what about anything from like when you were young? I mean, like, I don't remember like a lot of stuff. <laughs> like, I <haven't... laughs> well, I'm not shocked by that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the funniest thing you've ever seen on the set so far? It was a threesome, and like the girl, she like has back problems, and like, like kind of like broke her back on set. Oh, so oh we we were like trying to figure out like what we were gonna do. So and then she just was an extra, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, she just laid there. Was that the? <laughs> Come on, you can still suck dick while you're laying there. She didn't break her back for real. You didn't break your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we were like in doggy, and I guess like I don't know, and so she just got stuck there, and we had to go get her ice and like just like laid her on the bed. And she was like, <laughs> it sucks getting old, kid. You'll see. <laughs> you're just a babe, but you'll see. <laughs> I get like back pains and stuff. <laughs> Chris, she's so cute. I know, she thinks she has back pain. I know. Okay. <laughs> Who's the funniest porn star? This is probably really common too, but Riley Reed. Actually not. So no. that's cool. Yeah, it's so like bubbly and goofy and just like whatever. Like I love watching like her little skits or like her YouTube videos. I don't know. Like I kind of looked up to her. I related to her too because when I first started doing porn, like my like my parents didn't talk to me at all whatever i like just like moved away just like left one day bye i'm doing porn <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna fuck guys in a tesla dad i want to meet her like so bad like i was thinking about dming her but maybe i should but like all I'm right we're gonna we're gonna facilitate this okay yeah. we're gonna <laughs> riley reed this girl looks up to you she would <laughs> like to chat with you Come can on. we can we make that happen <laughs> can we make that happen right oh go ahead I love Team Skeet. They just sent me a box. Hold on. She's getting her Team Skeet stuff. Look at Chris. I don't know if you could see Chris is wearing his shirt. Oh, yes. What's the craziest thing a fan ever asked you to do? Oh, my God. Shitting and then shitting outside. <laughs> they wanted you to shit outside. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, fuck no. I did send a video of me pooping to this guy, though, because he paid, he paid me good. He paid me good money, so I was like, whatever, I'll record me shitting. Like, <laughs> You know, that's when you know you've made it in life, you know? I think this is really a, a barometer that you can use, and that if someone will pay you for your shit, then you are very famous. Yeah. So, Backroom Casting Couch wrote the following about you. You know what I'm going to say? Oh, I know. Yeah, you read it. 19-year-old Bailey is what we like to call the Great White Buffalo. Bailey, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> Dude, I have n <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I think I think they like <laughs> Great White Buffalo. <laughs> I think, like, maybe, like, a killer. Like Here is where you need Uncle Dadu, okay? Because Uncle Dadu's old, and I will explain it to you. Okay. People used to say, like, the great white buffalo. There are no white buffaloes. And there, <laughs> or there is maybe one albino buffalo somewhere. So when somebody says she's the great white buffalo, they mean that you're rare. You're very rare. Okay. So they were giving you a nice compliment saying that yeah. you are the rare porn star who's a sweetheart and this. But they also thought, hey, you know what? Let's call a porn star a buffalo. She'll love it. <laughs> I'm just thinking maybe their choice of words could have been better, you know? Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> it's a guy like he's it's a, some, a guy that writes it, you know. And we're stupid. So. <laughs> yeah, we say dumb shit like that. <laughs> Last thing I have to interject here, I have to talk to you about, is Jimmy Michaels. So you and Jimmy Michaels are seen on Pornhub probably a million times a day. There's that one scene with him in the kitchen and you... And that's got to have, like, made you famous. Like, it's like, literally, I've never seen anything repeated so much. Yeah, that video, I'm pretty sure, like, got him a browser's contract. It's, it's everywhere. Yeah. Even <laughs> though you're only 19, does fucking him make you feel like a pedophile? 
<laughs> you know, because he's older than me. I like, know, but he looks like he's 12. <laughs> like, when I first met him that day, I was like, are you, like, 18? He's like, no, I'm 23 or some, something like that. I'm like, no. <laughs> Can I see your driver's license, sir? <laughs> <laughs> We've come to the point of the interview, ladies and gentlemen. This is the most important part of the interview. You ready? Tell us a joke. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like she's laughing and crying. No, it sounds like she already told the joke. And she's like, <laughs> Bailey, how high are you? You didn't tell it yet. <laughs> Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. <laughs> Orange who? Oh. Knock, knock. <laughs> Wait, you just said knock, knock. All right, one more time. Go ahead. Okay, knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Banana. Banana who? Banana you. Okay, knock, knock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wait, what about the orange? Did you have it one? I thought that was getting to that. You're not. You're not letting me finish. Okay, go ahead, do it. Okay, knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Banana, <laughs> Banana you. Knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Orange. Orange, orange who? you. Banana. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> Oh what? <laughs> All right, fine. I'm going to tell you a knock knock joke. Knock knock. Who's that? Interrupting cow. <laughs> Interrupting. No! 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 <laughs> nice. Oh my god. That's funny. But I'm like goofy as fuck, so I just like, like, I just like. Act- Stupid sometimes, but like it's not. It's funny. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's like- you are you are amazing, and that <laughs> brings us to our end here. We want to thank you. Yes, you thank- have just been the delight of all delights. Mm-hmm. We've had <laughs> such, totally, we've had such a good time with you. Yes, I did too. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> thank you for being here right now. If you look, you're going to see the social media or contact information that we'll put up on there for you. Uh-huh. And everybody can check that out. Of Excellent. course. Thank you guys so much. I had so much fun. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Banana who? 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 Knock knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you glad I didn't say banana again?